Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 6, Football Manager 19. We're with our second club. So after we lost to Royal Pari last episode, 1-0, uh, we beat the strongest, who were not the strongest. We beat them 4-0, Dustin Maldonado, the young Peter Sadie Flores on a penalty, Edwin Pacheco, and Dennis Bejarano, uh, all with goals in the first half. And then we called off the dogs. Oriente Petrol Petrolero drilled us. 6-0. Bruno Lucas was sent off. Uh, two yellow cards uh, in the 38th minute. And it was... It was a... Uh, uh, you know, we really needed a, a mortician after that, uh, after that match. We came back and beat Blooming 2-0. Bejarano and Serrano with goals. Uh... Guabira beat us three to one. This was one that we should have won, but we had two players sent off in the first half: Juarez and uh, Baron Dog. Uh, Sheremoni scored a goal. Uh, Ibanez got a brace for them, and then uh, Bolivar. Uh, we played them tough. Got a one-one draw. Late goal from Dustin Maldonado in the second half to rescue the draw. So we're in the closing stage of the the closing. Strike that, reverse it, or whatever Willy Wonka says. Um, we're in the final two matches of the opening stage. So we're playing Potosi and uh, Wilsterman today. We're sitting third in the table. Uh, we are only four points off the lead. We're one point behind Aurora for second. So I think we've got a pretty good shot. I don't know who makes the playoffs. I, I haven't paid a ton of uh, attention to that. But uh, we are doing well. Uh, that puts us 32, 27 points above Always Ready in the final two for the relegation playoff. So I'm going to say we're doing all right. Uh, Char Char Charimoni has nine goals in the league. He's third in scoring, so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, we're one three in yellow cards. We dominate that category. Uh, but yeah, let's get to today's match. All right, we are at home. We are favored. It is pretty nice weather. And let's we're gonna continue on. Uh, no, we're not. We're going. We're going to back to this tactic. All right, uh, so Bejarano up top. We've got the trilogy working here with good connections. Unfortunately, our back line has just not developed any uh, any rhythm here yet. Uh, why are we not? Oh, because nobody's fit. <laughs> uh, we're going to add you and... Well, our don't need an extra goalkeeper. Adrian, wing back, right, left. Let's go with that. Hopefully, we don't have to play that guy. Uh, but anyway, let's get to it. Want our full commitment of. Uh, of subs uh also just uh to let you guys know what's going on channel wise before we jump into the match here uh well i'm gonna go ahead and get it kicked off at least um so i'm coming up onto my busy time of the year with my job and of course i don't do youtube for any money i don't have a patreon account or you know anything like that so um you know, I've got to do my job. So our busy time is during the holiday, October, November, December is, you know, I'm busy year round, but that's like busy, busy. So uh, I, I don't miss any videos, but what I think I'm going to do is I just recorded my last episode of Surviving Mars uh, today, and uh, that'll go up tomorrow or I don't know, in a couple of days probably. So I'm going to drop back to Football Manager daily, Monday through Friday. And then uh, 
probably Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday for oxygen not included. Oh, dangerous ball. Oh, good defense. Good defense. Um, because not only do my job, but also I have mentioned, oh, hello, Juarez. Uh, my daughter's expecting uh, her first baby, my first grandbaby, uh, probably in the next two weeks. So that'll give me some more time to spend with her and the, and the grandbaby. So, uh, you know, that'll be, oh, the keeper just sat down. Um, so I'll have that going on. And uh, so we'll go down to football manager Monday through Friday. And, ooh, cheeky shot by Juarez. He was feeling it. Um, and then, uh, you know, once I kind of get things under my belt, and then, you know, it's not, you know, I'm, I'm also doing, oh, nice check, uh, second goal. That was a nice assist and a solid volley from inside the six-yard box. Looked like Eddie Nikita's goal. Uh, tell you what, man, that guy looks really good for from Arsenal. He's on loan with Leeds right now. And, uh, oh, brilliant header by Baron Doge. Um, so, what was that? Oh, jeez. What was she into? Oh, God. Oh, hello, Bejarano. 3 0. Um, so, yeah, we're on kind of on cruise control now. Holy crap. A set piece goal? What's up with that? Oh, that was just nasty. Um, I do character builds for. Uh, Skyrim and Fallout. I've probably got about, I don't know, 30 or 40 builds up on uh, one of the community websites. And I've got one that I've been thinking about for a while. I've, I've had it written up. I just needed to test it. And, uh, but it's, you know, I've had it on the back burner and rightfully so because, you know, my YouTube channel is my priority. But uh, started playing Fallout again about a week ago and I've been putting in a boatload of hours. Um, you know, getting ahead of, of the recording on the, on the YouTube channel. So this will give me some time to maybe finish that build and, and, uh, and get it posted over there. Uh, you know, cause when I do those, you got to play it all the way through. Oh, look at this. Oh my God. Suspet is his first of the season for nothing. Uh, we're going to pull back to balanced. And let's go to let's go to some time wasting. Confirm it. Uh, we're just eating these guys up. I like it. Definitely uh, something that Minnesota has did not experience very often, huh? So that's kind of the goal game plan with the channel. And then, you know, I'll be able to use a little bit of that downtime. Oh, he put it in, Ella Ziche. Oh, fourth goal of the season. Another set piece. Brilliant. Brilliant work. Six on target only and only one chance. That's nuts. Wow. Um... So anyway, that's kind of the game plan. Uh, so football manager, if you're watching this, no changes, you know, five days a week. Um, we'll keep cranking that out. Oh, my God, five, nothing. Uh, excellent. And I also want to... Let's take off Get Stuck In. Just, you know, that way they don't, maybe that helps us out a little bit, right? <laughs> All right. Um, so, yeah, anyway, that's what's that's what my goal for here in the near future is going to be. At some point, I'll bring back a second game, but it might not be till after the first of the year. And then on top of that, uh, college football starts uh, in nine days. And I am a huge Michigan Wolverine fan. Oh, hello, Sagrido. Um, so Saturdays, I'm pretty booked up now. I won't have recording time where I normally 
do six to eight hours of playing and recording on Saturdays, I won't be doing any probably or very little. And then pro football on Sundays, I'm a, a Cowboy and New Orleans Saints fan. So that's going to be uh, cutting into my weekends uh, immensely through the end of the year as well. So, you know, got to gotta make time for all of my hobbies. Oh, that was a good turn. Cow Queller with a nice save. That was a big turn by that guy. Gee whiz. Big burst of speed right there off, off the turn. My goodness. Good defense to jump in front of that. Uh, anyway, for Leeds, Pontus Janssen uh, got sold to Brentford. I'm really sad about that. I liked Pontus a lot. Um, but, you know, according to the team, it, it needed to be done for financial fair play. Uh, also, um, you know, he, uh, he had a run in it with, uh, at the end of the season where he was not, uh, doing what, uh, Bielsa wanted him to do. And so, you know, that's just asking for trouble, you know, uh, Sergio Adrian, let's go ahead and plop him. And uh, so, yeah, he got sold. So he came back at Ellen Road this week, uh, uh, yesterday. Uh, we won 1-0. Uh, Eddie Nikita and uh, oh, uh, Costa, uh, both, uh, both loan signings, uh, came in and within, within two minutes scored a goal. Uh, both of those guys have just jets, lots of pace. And um, so I was really excited to see that. Uh, so anyway, uh, let's see, Oviedo. Uh, let's go ahead and put uh, Vallejos. And so there was some talk that uh, Bielsa made it sound like he might have to tweak his tactic to get uh, Patrick Bamford and Nikita, Nikita on the field at the same time. Um, Evidently, there's a, uh, a poison pill in the loan agreement from Arsenal that will cost Leeds a shit ton. Oh, that was, oh, he was off sides. That was a bad break. It bounced off of two of our players <laughs> and went right to their guy. You couldn't call that. Uh, so anyway, uh, but boy, Nikita has looked really good. Uh, so looking forward to seeing him. Uh, Leeds have uh, 10 points out of 12, so they're they're top of the table right now, and looking good, looking solid. I I, I still think they're one center back short, uh, but you know, Bielsa likes those small those small squads, so hopefully. We don't suffer injuries down the stretch like we did last year and can make a make a real run at promotion this year. That would be astounding. Nine shots and five goals. That is crazy. All right, dressing room. You guys were excellent. Come on. Uh, hammered. One goal, two headers. Uh, defensive work. Yep, we'll go there. All right, we'll see you guys back here for the next match in just a minute. Oh, wow, look at this. So if a win will secure us a spot in the main stage of the Copa Libertadores Liberty Cup. Nice. Wilsterman's top of the league, though, so they're going to be a hard get. They were held to a 3-3 draw with Oriente Pet Petroleum Orient. They've won three of their last five. We've won three of our last five. Uh, they they get the spot in the main stage just by avoiding defeat. 
da, da, da. All right. Let's just go through the rest of the emails here real quick. All right. Ah, uh, Bruno Lucas was training out two to three weeks. Damn it. All right. Condori. Had a couple of guys say they wanted to be taken off the transfer list. Well, if I put you on the transfer list, especially at your request, I'm kind of done with you. I don't usually give uh, second chances. Um, and then uh, Condori's pissed off because I wouldn't let him leave. Um, I think he's too good. Oh, man, that sucks. So I mentioned earlier I'm a Dallas Cowboy fan. Uh, back in the 90s, they had a quarterback named Babe Laufenberg. Not very good. Um, but his son died of cancer at the age of 21, and that really hits close to home because my son, uh, if you've been on my channel for any length of time, uh, my son had cancer in the... Uh, Two years ago and uh, uh, luckily he's he's doing well so but that uh, man that's just that's gutting uh, so that's a big match for us um, let's check our uh, our history competitions overview there we go so we're in the Primera Division. So we've won the Primera Division twice in 2008 and 2014. So it's been eight years. And then we won the Simon Bolivar Cup in 2005. Uh, yeah, okay. So yeah, that would be a that would be a big achievement. And we haven't won silverware since uh, my first season at Minnesota and got promoted, and then the wheels fell off of that freaking truck. Um, yeah, Wilsterman owns us nine wins, three draws, three losses. We're underdogs on the road. Man, man, I am tempted. I am tempted to go here. I think that sets us pretty solid on the back end. And uh, pace tackling crossings a six you know what i'm gonna give you a start i'm gonna take the gamble pachico juarez all right we, we've got a little partnership there standard all right that's that's what I want. Yeah, let, yeah. Okay. Yep. Submit it. A little bit more defensive minded. I know we need to win, but I don't want to be too open with these guys, you know, with this team because they, they beat us last time. All right. We're in the blue. God, those. All right. I got to say, I, I don't particularly care for this kit either. The blue shirt with the red shorts. That's a clashing look. Certainly bright colors. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, man. What a shot by Juarez. His third goal of the season. That was a beautiful set piece. Oh, near post just curled it in there. Brilliant, brilliant play. All right, they've gotten a shot back. Pretty even in possession. Colella, a yellow card, his second of the season. Complacent. You better fucking 
you don't be complacent against the top team in the table. Now we're going to praise them. Oh, that guy's wide. Well, he was wide open for a second down the right flank. Crossed in. Get it. Oh, uh, look at this. The breakaway. Bejarano. Oh, he has to hold the ball. Oh, he cut inside. Look at that. Crossed over. Touch. Oh, man. If he would have dropped it back in the center, we would have had that so easy. Counter. Dury coming up. Oh, he lumps it. And evidently nothing happened. Condori is complacent. Juarez into the box. Dory controls it. Oh, nice deep defensive play to stop that. Oh, he just, no, I thought he was hoofing it out of bounds. Come on, guys. Oh, good defense again, but, oh, that was bad luck. Pachuri, his 13th of the season. That was bad luck right there. I thought we had him. Yeah, he stopped him and it, it hit Dury and it stayed with him. That's that's brutal. Oh, Juarez. Ooh, he was trying it again. I don't understand why I can't do shouts. It's got to be something to do with a timer, but I don't understand. Whatever. Pacheco picks up a yellow. All right, there's a cross into the middle. Oh, my God. Push forward. Aponte, set piece. They lay it back. Oh, good poke away. Stays with them, though. Oh, my guys did not jump on that. What a save. Oh, my God. How did Quellar get his hand on that ball? All right, Pacheco with the run. He holds it up. Oh, he had the overlap, and he tried to get there. Oh, another brilliant save by Queller. Brilliant save. Oh, I am really happy with how things are going. Seven shots. Excellent effort. Avoid your booking. I think I'm going to sub Condi. Well, he's playing a 6-4 as well, Serrano. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm thinking about pulling the plug on uh, on Condori. Six four. Serrano's playing a six four. Sadie Flores is playing a six four. Good defense. Good. Oh, no. Oh, what a save. Oh, my gosh. Con oh, there's Condori making a play. All right. Way to stay in my good graces. Laid ahead to Serrano on an overlap. Lumped ahead too far. Oh, my goodness. That would have been great. The keeper was going backwards. Oh, that would have been brilliant. All right. Uh, Pacheco, man, you are playing really good. Uh, Segredo, let's bring you in. Bejarano, I don't think you'll get another yellow. Serrano, you're off. Well, you, you were going to be off. Uh, hold on. Um, midfield, left, and center. 
you are either foot, so you can play right. You can play right. And wing back mid left. Yeah, I'm gonna put you in. You'll play out of position, but you can use either foot. You know the left side. The right side's just the opposite. Don't get scared. Bejarano. Adrian had a shot there. Almost had that super sub moment. Dury is injured. He's been the big threat for them. Condori. Bejarano. Lays it off to Adrian. Adrian lumps it from range. Maldonado run, rounds it up. Nah. What the frick was that? Yo, Adrian, what was that? Come on, you got an eight passing. You got to be better than that, man. You've got to be much better than that. Oh, that was horrible. They've got two clear-cut chances. I've only scored once, so that's good. All right, Flores, Maldonado, Bejarano into Segredo. Oh, he's open on that right flank. There it is, played out. Condori crossed in. Flores. Damn it. All right, Juarez gets it back up into the attacking zone again. Oh, come on. There it is. Oh, my God. <laughs> he was like, screw it. I'm going to quit passing it inside. If you guys can't score, I'm going to take the shot. Oh, a little flick on header. Oh, how the hell does that happen? We see that type of play literally a thousand times. And a thousand out of a thousand, if it's your club, it goes to the other team. And yet every time I see it for them, it goes right to their player. That's so stupid. All right, we need to make a, a sub here. Juarez is playing well, but I need to... Yeah, the defense is really solidified. Even Condori, he's at a 6-9. Uh, I, uh, I need the legs. I, oh, crap, I don't have anybody that can go back there. Um, yeah, I don't. Um, Mid-left, mid-right. Suspetas. You know what? I'm going to put him in for Bejarano and maybe some fresh legs up top to threaten. Uh, well, now we're going to be a man down, so that's going to change things. So thankfully that just happened. <laughs> uh, all right, so you're going to go in the middle. I am going to change this to that. And you are going to switch there. Uh, I am going to drop you to support. I'm going to drop you to support. They're on attack. All right. There we go. Oh, can't. Well, if they if if it's a draw, then they get the berth. We have to win. All right. Lumped forward. Oh, come on, Charmoni. Oh, nice. Oh, my God. What a shot by Adrian. His first of the season. Oh my God! Uh, pause. Okay. Um, yep. Back. Back. Support. Support. Full back. Defend. 
fullback defend. No nonsense center backs. Yep. Elizeche will still be on attack to support up top. Oh, I also, oh, uh, I also, yeah, I can't do anything yet until, damn it. All right, tactics. Uh, da, 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 da. In possession, we're going to go to severe time wasting and out of possession. I'm going to drop a little bit here, guys. Hope I don't regret that. Lumped forward. All right. Maldonado. Oh. Come on, boys. Oh, this is going to be huge. Good header. Okay, something happened. Their ball. Throw in. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, I thought you were going to be able to cut it off. Oh, oh good tackle. Again, right to them. Oh, he sent it over. Pucker factor of five. Adrian. <laughs> he just dumped the pass and nobody, nobody even touched it. Oh, good save. He might have been offsides. Well, they didn't call it. Oh, man. He should have put that one away. Adrian, shot. Oh, five minutes of stoppage time. Come on, boys. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Ooh at the far post and it was wide open oh my god yes what a win what a win oh hell yeah passionate that was really special <laughs> top of the table oh my uh, Juarez, I'm just going to warn him because that was uh, two yellow cards. A goal. Oh, he was great. Cool. You're good, man. Keep on keeping on. All right, so let's see what happens next because this is our first season in this league. So I don't know, you know, opening stage. Last year we had a playoff, but this is a new league, new country, so um ooh, hello. Thirty year old fullback. <sighs> nah. I'm just gonna acknowledge that. Alright, so yeah, what's the deal? What do we do now? Seventeen thousand people. We're in last no. <laughs> It's like, man, we're in last place. Holy shit. Uh, opening table. Yes. Yes. 14 wins. Did you guys expect 14 wins just in the opening stage at the beginning of this? After last the last four seasons, I didn't. Plus 15 goal differential. That's huge. That is huge. Nine goals in 16, eight in 13, seven in 22. The nine in 16 is actually pretty impressive. He's unhappy. Worried about the lack of competition for places. What the hell does that mean? Uh...
I can't talk to him. There's no way to talk to him. Come on. I know I have seen other people go in and have a talk with a player. I just want to go find out what's wrong with him because I have no idea what that means. I mean, all right, whatever. Is he not starting enough games? I don't know if that's what that means. All right, well, anyway. 55 days, it does not appear that there is a playoff. I, I, I'm willing to bet we're already safe from relegation. I mean, never say never, but still, I mean, that's huge. Um, rules. One team. Now, it said the main stage, so I don't know if that's the group stage. Two teams. So, yes, the top team. I guess that means we qualify for the group stage, so we're in the cup. We don't have to go through qualifying. That's huge. Nice. Um... Oh, let's check this real quick. Under 20 players, a minimum of 45 minutes. A combined total of 45 minutes. Oh, I, oh God, I hope we don't get points deducted. Uh, squad. Now, oh, shit. That's our reserves, though. Do they, if they're on our, if they're on our reserves, do they have to play or is this only guys that are on our club? So like Sadie Flores was on the roster. He started 16 games. I certainly don't have to play all of the guys that are on the reserves 45 minutes a piece, right? Right? If you know the answer to this, please let me know because we may have just shot ourselves in the foot. Um, Qualar's under, no, he's 22. He started 10 matches, so he should be fine. He subbed in three. That could be anywhere from 60 minutes to, no, 60 minutes, so 30, that'd be, that would be 36, that'd be 180 minutes or down to 30 minutes, so he could be short. 20 matches, so he'd be good. Oh my God, I think we're okay on everybody that was up, even to Murray's not an everyday player, um, but he would have qualified, I'm sure, with four matches. Oh my God. See, he's on a youth contract. Is it only guys... See, he's just a U20 player. Youth, youth. All right, now see, he's under 20 and not on a youth, so that could that could screw us. So I may have to put him. I, I have no idea. I'm going to have to go post this over at the SI forums because I don't know the answer. Oh, my God. Now I'm freaking out. I remembered the rule because we talked about it before the season, but is this only if they are on the senior squad. Oh my God. I will be sick if that cost us. I tell you what, I'm going to play ahead and 
if I don't come back, that means this doesn't crop up. If I get an email about this, I will definitely be back this episode. Hope you don't see me again. If you don't, I'll see you start next the next, the closing uh, uh, leg. If I do see you, then it's bad news. Oh, my God. All right, guys.